Manchester United are one step closer to the Europa League semi-finals as Arsenal. Their compatriots have still got a lot of work to do. We'll take a look at the next round of matches in the Europa League. Next! Show today we take a look at the Europa League quarterfinals second legs, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing, swallow what you're doing, smash your subscribe, get your back up to date with all things Europa League related, Black and Rose related. Whoa, football, here we gonna know here, boys. Underwall, Ruski, that's right, boys and girls. Of course, United getting themselves a bit of comfort uh, in Granada. 2-0 uh, lead in uh, in the end, as Arsenal could only muster a draw against Slavia Prague. Uh, but how will they fare in those second legs? We'll take a closer look in just a second. A big, big shout out to the VIPs. Who are they? The patrons. That's right, boys and girls. Thank you for your continued support. And if anyone else is out there that wants to join the illustrious band of men and women, check out that link down below. Patreon.com forward slash Rosies. But anyway, let's get cracking. Of course, yes, second legs are vastly approaching. Uh, of course, then you're just one step closer to a final. Uh, and right here, right now, uh, an all English final does look a little bit... Uh, it's still on the cards, but still got a lot of work for Arsenal to do. But anyway, let's get into the deep end and have a look at what I'm talking about. This is the journey so far for, of course, uh, the old Europa League. Of course, we've lost the likes of AC Milan. Shakhtar Donetsk have also gone as a Mulder. Young Boys Burn and Dynamo. What's it's over there are also out of it. Spurs are gone as well as Olympiacos and Rangers. But of course, it set up these beautifully uh, quarterfinals. And of course, United uh, lead the charge. But let's get take a look at those latest round of first leg matches here they come now it was uh, way back when uh, when was it of course just Thursday just gone and of course uh, Manchester United took a 2-0 lead over in Granada to give themselves a of course uh, one foot already in the final well not the final in, in uh, at least the semi-finals goals coming from uh, Marcus Rashford on 31st minute before Bruno uh, gave them a bit more comfort with a 90 minute penalty of course they got the one bang on the bloody nose folks bang on the bloody nose meanwhile Ajax they did lose at home 2-1 loss in the end David Class actually gave Ajax the lead uh, on on this one and uh, Lorenzo Pellegrini uh, uh, leveled for Roma of course Burford Ibanez went on the 87th minute as well I actually went with the 2-1 win but I actually went win favour of Ajax so I got that one wrong as it went the other way uh, meanwhile Dynamo Zagreb they did uh, lose as well to Villarreal uh, at home Gerard Mourinho from the penalty spot giving, uh, giving Villarreal the lead on the 44th minute I went with the 2-1 for Zagreb and I got it wrong as well of course, last.com is Arsenal 1, Slavia Prague 1. Again, Nicolas Pepe on the 86th minute to what appeared to be a winner for Arsenal. But only for Thomas Hollis uh, getting a level, of course, for Slavia Prague to make that game very, very interesting. 1-1 one, one in the end, uh, which means Arsenal have got it all to do over in the Czech Republic. So anyway, that's the situation as it stands right here, right now in the quarterfinals. Let's take a look at, of course, how you guys got on. This is the criteria, bish, bash, bosh, pr pretty simple. So let's get into it then, Chef. Of course, let's take a look at Ivan Stringy, did shite. As was also did poop. Shane O'Donnell, though, kicked ass and took some names. How about Alars, 123, he did poop. Nadiam, 0 0 whatever, also did all right. Lucas Gaming, he did okay. Of course, Ivan, he did oh, poop. Of course, Gaming Child also did shocking. Mew did poo. Barcelona also did miss out. Also did poop. Anto Antonofan, yes, he did all right. Gerard Lenders, not too bad. Johan Kampsch also did good. Blood Host, or oh, Ghost, even also did good. Fernando Hasez Kasegan, not too bad. Of course, Master Fighter did bits. Madden Zada did poop. Nicholas Muckus also did poop. A Judy did poop. And oh, Mascaville, fair play to you, brother. Of course, Felix Muskus also did shy. Cody Gaho, well done to you. You did poop anyway. And just on Tanadis also did great. Yannick Vosla, we'll get to you in a minute. Costas K, he did okay. Yannick Vosla did bits. And of course, Vincent Hong also did poop. Uh, how about Neil Galilei? He's okay, but not today. He did poop. Oh, Joe 52 also did poop. Shannon did great. Uh, Ultra Omen Meow, fair play to you, of course. And the Frostmeister also did poop, but it's okay. Alex Weller, he did all right. Of course, Harrison Kane, not too bad either. Arsenal fan, I did okay. Of course, Matt Goddard did bits. Brendan Arden also did good. Tom Stainer, fair play to you, but of course, Ryan Long also did great. Exposing Movies also did shite. Shashit Devavs also did ghastly. And Anthony Mann, as of the midweek, also did good. And of course, James B. City are great. You did poop. Devante Caprice also did poop in the end. Well, what's that done to the table? I'll have a little look at it for this week and this week alone. Get in amongst it. Of course, your King Pings are wearing the crown. Is Master Fighter and Ryan Long. They got three out of four, which is pretty good. And that's the rest of the chasing pack got two. I got one, so I'm down there on 24th. Now, what I'm about to show you is going to be good news for some and heartbreak for others. So here we go. 
So as you can see at the top, you will realise there's only a few names that realistically can win the Europa League Prediction League. It's a seven-horse race. There's only nine points, I believe, up for grabs, uh, which will rule out eighth and beyond, unless we do some crazy-ass end to this. But I don't know if I should do that. I think I should just let it roll out, and the winner will be the guy who comes out, or girl who comes out on top uh, on this one. And right here, right now, Yannick Bostov has a two-point cushion over Matt Goddard. He is the favourite, uh, but it is still... Still very, very winnable for any one of these. Of course, ha uh, Nicholas Milkus has got a long shot, as does Hans Vost. Uh, but I realistically think it's probably a top five race. But that is the situation as it stands. Uh, so, uh, if, uh, you can continue to predict as much as you want, as high as many as you want for the rest of the season uh, in the Europa League, uh, just to get your position, get your bearings, and then you can remember this for next year. Uh, you could be maybe one of the seeds. Maybe we'll have seeds. Eighth seed, Russell Frost. Uh, tenth seed, Alex Weller. You know, if you can get yourself further up there, uh, then of course you'll be uh, maybe you'll be uh, one of the favourites. Uh, we'll give you. It will start to create like characters for you guys. You know, Yannick Bustler, reigning champion of the Europa League. Put it on the line against Russell Frost in the old uh, whatever. So, so, you know what I mean? Just, just keep on chipping on. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a shame, though, but it had to come to this stage at some point, and this will be the common thread uh, for a lot of these uh, seat leagues as they come to a close. But anyway, especially for those seven, here's are the next round of matches. And again, we'll have a little journey down memory lane here. Of course, take a look at the teams that have gone by in the old knockout stages. Of course, it'll set us up for, of course, those illustrious second legs. Here they come. Of course, uh, United will host Grenada of course this time around uh, as Roma will host Ajax and Villarreal will host Dynamo Zagreb and Slavia Prague will take on uh, Arsenal of course but anyway these games will come in around thick and fast and it'll be of course United taking on Granada on Thursday the 15th of April of course they play each other of course how many times of course we've already we've been down memory lane already of course just the one time was a 2 to win for United and uh, United are actually coming into 26 match uh, they've won 26 match or well, unbeaten uh, in 26 of the last 28 matches in the Europa League also keep, keep, keep finishing 5 of the last 7 matches as well of course De Gea did did start for United last time. I did watch that game, uh, and they come into just one defeat in the past five games. That one defeat was against Leicester. Meanwhile, four defeats in the spin for Granada. Of course, they haven't played in La Liga as of recording. They're taking on Valladolid today, and I do expect them to at least be in that game and maybe even uh, stop the rot there. They'll need a bit of confidence boosting to hedge into this one. Of course, uh, the bookies odds on this one for this week for this win uh, for this tie and this tie alone not to go through exactly. Uh, but twenty nine on is United. They are your favourites. Three to one is your draw. Seven to one is your long shots. That's Granada. Of course, United with a comfortable two 0 lead in the first leg. I I think they'll do uh, pretty much the same as well in the second leg with a 2-0 win to go probably through. I'll show you my aggregate scores in just a second. 2-0 win though for United in the end. Next up of course we have Roma uh, they'll be taking on Ajax in a very, very evenly balanced match. Of course Roma with the advantage of the uh, of the winning first leg over in uh, the Dutchlands of course. They've played each other three times in the past. It's been one win apiece now uh, and of course one draw. That one win uh, was for Roma was just the other day. The win for Ajax that was all the back in 2002 in the Dutchlands and it was uh, do we have the goal scores? Yes we do. Slatam was on the score Jari Littman as well. Gabriel Batastuta. Goodness gracious me. Some goals, some names from the past there. Roma, though, winning eight of the last nine matches in, in the Europa League. So at least two goals in eight of the last nine matches as well. They come into this, though. Uh, Roma, uh, just one defeat the past four. That one defeat was against uh, Napoli. Again, they also are in action tonight uh, or today against Bologna over in Syria. Ah, meanwhile, Ajax will be in action today against RKC Wawick. And again, I do expect to see Ajax with the victory. Uh, so, yeah, just one defeat the past four for them. I do expect that to be one defeat the past five. Uh, quick look at the book's odds on this one. Again, there's it's not much to uh, to get into this one. 30 to 8 uh, are on is your Roma for, for the victory of 11 for sure. 11 to 8 is your Ajax. Again, Roma with the advantage. Of course, Ajax will need to get the win and more. Uh, Gone with the 2 0 win for Roma on this one to, to uh, probably send them through on aggregate. I think so. Uh, next up, we have Villarreal taking, of course, Dynamo Zagreb. Let's get into this one then. Shall we? Of course, played each other three times in the past. Uh, two minutes for Villarreal, just one for, for Zagreb and no draws. That's the round, though. In Villarreal was a 3 0 win for Villarreal back in, of course, uh, December 2010. Uh, Giuseppe Rossi. I think this is X Man United man. We've got a couple of goals there. Marco Rubin as well. Igor Bishkan. Let's have a quick Google of Rossi. Uh, I'm going to just see if he's still playing. He's a bit of an okay age. Giuseppe Rossi. I believe he's. Is he still playing? He's a tiny football. He plays for forward. Uh, he's 34 years of age now. And he's actually playing his time in Real Salt Lake. That's right. I knew he was in the MLS. Is he still playing though? Uh, he made his club debut. I know he's played by injuries. Oh, he's he's out. He's out of a club right now. He's out of a club. So, I uh, did get a couple of Italian caps 
And again, he scored a couple of goals for United, but uh, not really. He blew up on the scene for Villarreal back in the day. That was one of his best times. So, you know what? Fair play to the Giuseppe Rossi. Of course, heading into this, though, uh, Villarreal winning five on the spin for them, of course, uh, beating Zagreb last time around. Taking on Osasuna today. As for, of course, um, Zagreb, they come into this uh, not the best of form, losing or not winning in the last two. Not losing the Zimnich and the Czech uh, or the Croatian Premier League, and of course, uh, not losing the Villarreal. Take on, take on um, who are these bad boys? Look on Motiva, Nick NK Nukola Motiva tonight over in the, the Croatian League as well. Uh, Bookies odds on this one, sure. Oh, we got in favour of Villarreal 29 on the Are You Stone Court favourite? Same odds as United win 3 to 1 is your draw, 7 1 is your long shots. That's our grab. To be fair, I don't see much change uh, from uh, from the first legs on this one now. Now that the 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 the, uh, the then away teams are now at home, I do fancy them to to get just enough to over the line. One 0 win for Villarreal, which means it's really a struggle for the likes of Zagreb. Anyway, kicking off forward though, Slavia Prague might be the one for the upset. Of course, taking on of course Arsenal over in Prague. Uh, they've got uh, probably the advantage with that last minute dot com winner. Uh, they played each other three times in the past. No wins yet for Slavia Prague. Just one win for Arsenal and two draws. Of course, that one win for Arsenal is a seven 0 win. Uh, in London back in of course uh, October 2007 of course last time around in Prague was an 0-0 draw also in the same year Arsenal undefeated in 10 last 11 matches in the Europa League Slavia Prague also undefeated in 9 last 10 matches as well they committed to this Arsenal without a win in 4 uh, drawing with Olympia losing to Olympiacos drawing with West Ham losing to Liverpool and of course drawing with Prague they take on Sheffield United tonight as well as for Slavia Prague back to back draws for them uh, unbeaten in the last 4 games again taking on uh, Sparta Prague it looks like today as well a lot of teams in action well, I think they're all in action anyway heading into this one of course the odds on this one uh, uh, difficult one. This one, 10 to 3, 4 Slavic Prague. Long shot still. 5 to 2 is your draw. Uh, 6 to 5 on is your Arsenal. They are the bookies' favourites. And I'm going to go with the bookies on this one with a 2 0 win. And as you can see, uh, well, here, this is how I have it panning out in the second legs. Manchester United will go through on aggregate 4 0. Uh, Roma Ro Ro will join them also 4 1 uh, going through. A Villarreal 2 0 going through. And Arsenal with the away win 2 0 on the night. 3 1 on aggregate will send them through, of course. And we'll leave these four teams, which will set up a very, very fruity uh, set semi-final and when you look at it and of course if you take a, a quick snapshot of these domestic leagues United look to be nailed on for Champions League football Roma not so much just yet neither do Villarreal and of course Arsenal way out of the woods uh, or well in the woods should I say for a, for a long shot for Champions League so realistically Man United will probably be the favourites so while I'll look at the bookies odds for the overall winner here in a minute but United probably the stronger team they don't really need this as much as the likes of Villarreal, Roma and, of course, Arsenal. Because, of course, a win gets you through to the Champions League group stages, I think. Uh, if, 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 if not, just maybe the last qualifying round anyway. But, uh, yeah, it's a last priority for United. But they are in the driving seat at the moment. Let's take a look at those bookies' odds to win the whole uh, bloody thing. Of course, here we go. Uh, Arraza right here, right now, including the ones that I've eliminated. Granada, 250-1. to one. Dynamo Zagreb, 100-1. to Slavia Prague, 16-1 to one as of right here, right now. Long shots. They are, of course... Uh, I'd say in the driving seat against Arsenal. Uh, 40 to 1 against Ajax. Of course, 6 to 1 is your Roma. 9 to 2 is your Villarreal. 9 to 2 is your Arsenal. And 11 to 10 is your Manchester United. So get your picks in, of course. And again, for those special seven that are still in the mix for the old prediction league crown, yeah, make sure you get your picks in because you are uh, in the in the hot seat, of course. That's it, my friends. Be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. And we'll do it all again, of course, for those first legs of the semi finals whenever they come around. Uh, until then, I'll see you soon. Check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon if you want to support the channel. And another way that's the best place to do it but until then i'll see you soon until then thumbs up mask up six feet bosh bosh bosh